What's up everyone? It's me, Jasmine. I'm an opera singer. Calling all the Nightwish army. This video is for y'all. This is Nightwish's performance of Phantom of the Opera, but with their previous lead singer, whose name I believe is pronounced Tarya. Without further ado, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna point out a few things that I picked up on here and there. Uh, first, the instrumentals. I like their arrangement, how they just, at the very beginning of the song, they had that long uh, chord that was just held out for a long time. <laughs> It didn't have that um, iconic da, 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 that iconic descending chromatic scale that's in uh, the beginning of the Phantom of the Opera arrangement. Um, I liked that. It gave it a mysterious, a very suspicious uh, atmosphere and uh, setting. Now, uh, her voice. So uh, one of the first things I noticed is she's got um, a wider vibrato. It's not wide enough to where her vibrato is going back and forth from one note to a completely different note, but it's almost tipping that scale to where it could lean, it's leaning towards almost going uh, towards a little too wide and tipping over two separate notes. Another another thing is the one of the first words um, in, in the first phrase uh, is the word sang and the way she placed her ah vowel it almost sounded like she sang the word sung because the the ah vowel was pretty far back and uh, it it kind of messed up the sentence just ever so slightly but because this is such an iconic an iconic song most people know that the word is sang but just trying to pay attention to those small details because that is important for a song like this i really loved how she sang the phrase the phantom of the opera break is here i loved that she took a breath right before is here because that breath seemed intentional <laughs> seem like she took that breath because she was out of out of air it seemed like she took that breath because she wanted to emphasize that the phantom of the opera is here i loved that now along the lines with that phrase i do think that the way she's saying phantom that awe was still shot far back kind of like the awe in the word sang which has a more brighter a um here when she's saying phantom it, it would have been nice to hear that uh, ah vowel come more forward. So instead of singing the phantom of the opera, it would be nice to hear the phantom of the opera is here. You know, just bringing more of that ah vowel into the ah to bring it up and more forward instead of it being more pulled back. Lastly, I want to talk about her straight tones because I love when she does them, specifically when she did it on this last word, um, mind. Inside my mind. So she held out that note and kept it with straight tone and then hearing that uh, that chord just holding underneath her with that straight tone, oh, sounded so good. One thing, oh, this is so nitpicky, but one thing I do wish she would have done was I wish she wouldn't have emphasized the 
diphthong of the word mind. So in the word mind, it has two vowels, I, E, and it would have been nice to hear the I, E, the E vowel, the second uh, vowel, kind of placed at the very last second. What she did was, again, I'm an opera singer, so I'm gonna add more vibrato. Inside my mind. That's what she did. I would have preferred to hear inside my mind. You see how I put it like with the ND of the word mind? This is just a small nitpicky thing, but that straight tone note sounded so good. It was like a little bit of a tension, like, ooh, that felt so good that, who cares? In sleepy sun to me, in dreams he came, that a voice which calls to me, and speaks my name, and to you I dream now. again. I need to figure out who is this. Nightwish. Let's see. The Phantom of the Opera with the lyrics. Ah, but who is who is singing it? I don't know their names. The male singer is Marco. Marco. Oh my god, someone in my live chat said that said that Marco quit Nightwish. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Okay. Um, wow, I already forgot what I wanted to say about- No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Marco! Okay, Marco. Um, I love his- his voice. I love what he's doing by morphing the vowels and singing into the consonances and giving rasp and grit here and there. It sounds so good. And the reason it sounds good is because it sounds intentional. I hear and see a character. That, you, that is the goal. That is the goal of singing, for me to see a character. And he is doing it phenomenally. And this is a great choice of a character to, uh, to be displayed as the Phantom, a creepy, uh, a creepy, dark, even like mysterious Phantom. I'm, I'm loving it. And his voice sounds like it can shoot up high. He just sounds like he is singing with so much ease. I can't wait to hear more from him. Uh, but, 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 did you all hear that, that tension in the atmosphere right before Marco started to sing? The band was just holding this long chord, sim the same type of feeling at the very beginning of the song. The chord was just sustaining. And it was like, you're waiting, like what is going to happen? What is going to happen? And then the, the drummer came in, ah, oh, we're going back.
Marco Marco. Okay, okay, Marco. A, I love uh the sound of his voice next to whatever the melodic line is in the the person who is playing the purple guitar. Well, I know you remember hearing those two and I was like man that sounds so good next the way he sang the phantom of the opera oh that you all technically perfect so let me give you all a little bit of technique advice when doing uh, a phrase like this where you have a note that kind of just uh, is high in comparison higher in comparison to the note before the key is to not make it sound like there is a large distance between those two notes. Have that higher note come from the same grounding, the same foundation as that lower note. Because the second you, you separate them and make them sound like they're far apart, the harder it's going to be for you to actually get to that note and therefore it's going to sound like you're reaching for that note. But when you give that higher note a close relationship to the lower note before it, it's going to sound so smooth. And he did that beautifully. It did not sound hard. It did not sound like it was crazy high for his voice because he did this connective thing. And another thing that he is doing connectivity wise is a beautiful legato line. He is really singing and like beautifully mushing through all of his vowels and his his consonants. I honestly, I can't get enough of this dude's voice. Let's rewind just a little bit and listen to the way he sings the fa, how the, the fa is in re close relationship to the word the. And also listen for that smooth legato line. question what is her accent um it actually came through uh here more than it has anywhere else specifically on the words uh those who those who have seen your face draw back in fear yeah those who and the word draw if anyone knows her accent uh let me know down below uh not not a big thing at all but just interesting that it came through on th those three specific words <laughs> was dope and that rhythm change paired with the da, 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 whatever was going on in the uh, in the keyboard sounded so good I'm so impressed by Marco you all Marco is hitting some crazy high notes there was a point where Marco's tone and Taria's tone blended so well I couldn't even tell that it was two different singers singing at the same time it was on the word phantom on that vowel. Um, let's rewind and see if you can hear what I hear. It really sounds like one person singing one note. They blend so well. And that note is high for a guy to sing. Let's go. 
right here Marco fantastic technique if you saw his mouth his mouth was in the perfect position to just get all of those notes out in a beautiful consistent way where it just sounded so fluid and he was able to sustain that long phrase in an extremely high register you all I'm I'm so blown away I just was not I don't I don't know what I was expecting but this is not what I was expecting we're going back <laughs> Build was everything. It was perfect. The alternating of them singing to each other. He's like sing, and she's like oh, and he's like sing, and his every time he sing says the word sing, it sounds more intense, and he's singing so freaking high for a guy. And her her high notes are beautiful. Uh, they were well placed. And the thing about her high notes is, you can tell she has a powerful voice. Because for the, uh, the, the area that she was sitting in singing those high notes, she was bringing a good amount of weight up there. And usually when you're in that territory, a lot of, uh, a lot of us sopranos bring out some of that weight, A, because our voices just aren't built like that, and it's just uh, easier to sing for us up there. But when you have that big and that powerful of a voice, you can carry some weight up there, and it sounds... Uh, it makes the intensity level go from like here to next level. Uh, that that high note, ah, ah, was that the high note? Yes, so she sang a D6, you all. So that D6 had a good amount of weight up there. Usually around, I'd say the C, the C sharp, uh, six, D6, E flat, and all of those up there, it's a good idea to bring some weight down just because it's a lot less stressful on the muscles going on here. But if you have the capability to do so, by all means do it because look at how fantastic that sounded. Um, should we re-listen to that climax because it was just that good? Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, you all. I'm so happy that I did this as my second night wish video. It, oh, it was so entertaining. The perfect word, entertaining. It had the right amount of drama. It had great vocals, the instrumentation and the arrangement. Whoever arranged this, beautiful job. Props. I gotta give a round of applause to who arranged this because oftentimes that's overlooked and they need just as much recognition as the lead singers. Who's going to a Nightwish concert with me? I need this to happen. I need it to be outside. I need there to be thousands of people. I just, I need it to happen. Can we, goodbye Corona. Corona, we need you to go. We have a Nightwish concert to get to. Thank you very much. If you liked all that you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and let me know what Nightwish performance analysis video should be next. Also, turn on those bell notifications so you know every time I put up a video on YouTube. Make sure you check out my description box down below. I've got some links of my previous performance analysis videos. I've got ways that you can connect with me through Patreon and through Discord where we can live chat. And I've also got some links of me singing. So make sure you check that out. Leave a black heart down below if you made it this far. I hope y'all have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye.